Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, thank you for visiting today. I have another art journaling video using Craftoscope products. Today I am using my Dilusions journal as I thought it was about time that I got back to it. I'm starting off with a pre-gessoed page and I'm using the Retro Vibes stamp set with some watering can archival to produce a background to start with. My first print wasn't too good but I wasn't really worried because I'm going to put other layers on top of these. Next I'm using the Retro Maze stencil which is a really nice shape and has open edges. I'm using a light texture paste from Prima because it's going in my journal so I didn't want anything too heavy and also dries quite quickly. I never really bother to um, stick my stencils down but as soon as some texture paste goes on it, it actually holds it into place quite well. After leaving the texture paste to dry, I'm now using some brushos. My first colour is turquoise. Wanted to um, create some real splashes of colour across the pages and I'm using the water to help to move the colour around. The idea is that where the texture paste has left its impression, it will create lighter and darker colours so you'll be able to see more of that texture coming through. I had a bit too much water at this point so I decided to blot some away. My next colour is Gamboge which is a really lovely yellowy orange um, and where it mixes with the turquoise you get this beautiful green coming through as well. At this point I wasn't really sure what colour to use next and I went for a colour I wasn't expecting to use today which was the purple. It created a, a really bright splash amongst the others and I decided to really flood it with water and as it dripped down the page it got into the channels of the texture paste which I really liked. I left it all to dry naturally and now I'm using some archival inks but with the distress colours. So I've chosen some of the stamps from the Such A Card set which is one of my favourite stamp sets. You will see it used an awful lot in my videos and in my art journals. The first um, colour is I think Seedless Preserve so I'm not 100% sure that it's a lovely deep purple. The next stamp I'm using the Peeled Paint Archival Ink with. And finally, I was trying to avoid using this stamp because I do use it in every art journal spread I do with Craftscape products, but I couldn't resist using the little text stamp again and this time I'm using Faded Jeans Archival Ink. When you see me moving the stamp that's just so that it's at the different part of the block so that I don't um, sort of put the block over the ridge of the journal which makes it really tricky to stamp with if it, if it does that.
At this point, my heat gun decided to give up. I'm now using one of the face stamps from the same stamp set, such a card, and I'm using the ATC die to cut out the um, card base for my face. The watercolours are from Prima and the set is Decadent Pies, which is a set I chose specifically for all the um, skin tones and hair tones that you get within the set. I'm no watercolour artist, so most of my watercolouring is very much just put it on the page. Um, I started with a lighter skin tone and then I just add slightly darker tone around the edges around the nose areas where it would naturally be darker so it's really just going by instinct rather than any sort of um, skill at all I was going to leave the background white but once I had actually painted the face in I felt that it was too stark especially against my very colourful background in the journal so I used the peeled paint distress inks to match the archival that was on the page and also the green of the eyes and I use an ink duster brush which is one of my favourite ways of applying ink to the edges. Here I've got the um, trellis part of the ATC die and I just cut it out a couple of times and then I just snipping I am just snipping into it to get the shape that I want to go behind my um, ATC From the Retro Vibes set, I've chosen the Positive Vibes sentiment and I'm sticking to using the Watering Can Archival Ink for all of the stamping, the main stamping in this project because I didn't want the bl black which would have been too harsh um, but I wanted it all to match together. I've just cut them out with scissors because I wasn't too worried about having really straight edges and just to give them a little bit of a frame I'm just using the edge of the archival ink pad to darken up the sides. Now in the meantime I'd also taken a piece of cambric and I had coloured it with the gamboge brushos and just layering up using some glue gel and in a moment also some cosmic shimmer white acrylic glue to, to stick the final pieces down. One of the things that seems to take me the longest when I do my art journal spreads is deciding where my sentiments are going to go and I like to have a little play around, see where I like it the best and it usually ends up back where I started. At this point I wasn't really too happy with how my trellis pieces were still sticking up so I decided to add a, a little bit more glue to try and stick them down. They will stick quite quickly but they just, just need a little bit of holding down to start with to get them to bond. And finally I thought something was still missing 
and so I decided to grab my white Posca paint pen and use it to add some splashes around the page. I know a lot of people cover up any faces, I wasn't too worried if any paint got on it. After I'd finished I added a little bit more grey archival ink around the edges of the page and edges of the ATC just to help frame it. Thank you so much for watching and if you have enjoyed the video please do like and if you haven't already subscribe and hopefully see you next time. Bye!